Hello, we've got some great summer savings going on right now at Solmart.me. For instance, how about Bernadette Morgan with the Vagina Rebound? If you're a lady on your way to have a relationship, this is a reading that will coach you back to where you want to be. Maybe you're shy and don't want to talk to your practitioner. How about DJ David Palmer? He'll make a custom 20 minute MP3 on your chart. Or after the 4th of July, we're happy to announce Act 3 videos are available for immediate download. All that at soulmart.me. Hello, healers, and welcome back to Soul Horoscope's Weekly Edition. I'm your host to the universe, Christopher Watecki, and I'd like to personally invite you down to soulgarden.me. We are now casting. We're looking for people who are already on camera, who already have YouTube followings, or people who blog and have followings. Maybe you have a product, maybe you make spiritual jewelry, and you want to be in Soul Mart. We are looking to unite the light by the end of the year. We want to be the largest light worker community on the internet, and we want to be the largest light work marketplace as well. We know we can do it. We're already pretty much there. Let's just unite the light. And if you come down to soulgarden.me, join my, you, uh, my new Unite the Light Club uh, and let's start talking about topics, shall we? Now, what are we talking about with the Virgo race? We are talking about emotions. The whole planet's working on emotions with the sun and cancer. And we're talking about your context in the world, how you see yourself in the world. And Virgos are very emotional about how they see themselves in the world because they put the two together as a race. So it is an emotional attachment you have in some cases to friends or to a title or uh, an emotional attachment maybe to a certain class of living. And those emotional attachments can serve you and disserve you. So last week we were looking at two different aspects to let go of. One, maybe a certain group of people, maybe a certain social status, maybe certain titles, looking at what's expired in your social context. And secondly, what emotional contexts have expired as well? Do you approach the world as a victim? Do you approach the world emotional, emotionally ready to heal? How is your emotional approach? This week, we are going to be focusing on now, uh, now that we've gotten rid of what doesn't work, we're going to experiment with what might work. You're going to be shopping for both of those qualities. Shopping for where you belong in the world and shopping also for what makes you feel good and what keeps your feelings on the level. So on Monday, it's a Chiron rule day. It could go a couple of ways. Basically, Virgo energy is Chiron energy, and it's calling for you to find integrity. So if your social status or your emotions are not integrity, Monday could suck. If they are in integrity, Monday could feel good. And emotions themselves are seeking nurturing. With the moon in Sagittarius, it's basically a nesting and resting transit, although the universe is asking you to emotionally process your social friendship or emotional integrity on Monday. So it's either going well or not going well, but the solution is this, why? Why is it going well? Why is it not going well? Therein lies the lesson for Monday. On Tuesday, we've got a full moon in Capricorn that's gonna put a full emotional dose of energy into where your house of inner child. So your inner child is gonna be lit up. The inner princess or the inner prince inside of you is gonna light up, become very emotional. Now during the first half of the transit of the full moon, the moon crosses Pluto. So this is an invitation to step away from old inner child emotion. Maybe your childhood, maybe your first failed marriage, maybe your first romance that got away. Whatever the emotional baggage is, let it go and let it flow. That's what the moon crossing over Pluto says. Then the moon moves into a full opposition with the sun, and that's what a full moon is about. Your inner child is going to become impatient. You're going to feel swelled up about how you want joy, you want love, you want fun, and you just can't take it anymore. Now that big emotional surge of inner child desire is really a setup for you to look at the sun in Cancer, which is, well, what in your place in the world keeps you from having that fun? Which of your friends is no fun? Which of your emotional tantrums in the world is holding you back? Really the full moon is encouraging you to let go of what holds you back in life 
And what holds you back in this sense is probably some sort of an obligation you feel to the world that's really not true, true for you, what your heart really wants, what your heart wants, or an emotional habit that's not serving you, or a circle or status that's not serving you. That is the epiphany or the enlightenment of the full moon on Tuesday. On Wednesday, it's breakthrough day. It's also the 4th of July. Happy birthday to the United States. This, uh, the United States is a cancer, if you don't know, with a Sagittarius rising and an Aquarius moon. But it is also a day of breakdown. Uranus rolls the day. How ironic. So <clears throat> I think it's going to be an interesting time because in Europe, it's not going to be the same as the United States. Because it's a holiday and we're breaking down behind the scenes, it's one of those breakdowns. It's very private. It's between us and God universe because we're trying to save face or we're uh, trying to not go to the fireworks or whatever. We have all this obligation to do for our country's birthday and we should show up for our country's birthday. It's a good country. Uh, but... Uh, the breakdown is happening within. Now, for you, the breakdown is social or emotional. So, could very well be being out with your friends or your friends not showing up helps you to break down and start to see what exactly is not working in your context consciousness, where you feel you belong. So you're going to come to some conclusions there. Or you might have a hell of a fun time. Maybe you went out with some new friends and boom, there's the breakdown breakthrough. Like, here's the group of people I need to be with. Again, it could also happen simultaneously emotionally because you work the same way. So maybe someone lets you down and you break down emotionally. You throw a tantrum and then you realize, you know, breaking down like this just doesn't serve me. I just don't need to hang around with that person, right? So it's a breakdown day. Now the moon is actually in Capricorn still. So inner child is a big part of it, just like the full moon. And inner child is really keeping you on the right path, which is love. I mean, that's what you want to aim for. So if anything ain't working according to the thermometer of love, you're probably right, get rid of it. All right, so break down 4th of July. Then on Thursday, it's breakthrough. The universe really does lighten up a load in a lot of ways. The moon moves into Aquarius and creates a temporary soul pyramid, which I think will lead you to the breakthrough. The soul pyramid is from a hyper-aware reality of the moment. So Virgos do what Virgos do best. They tune into the moment. They tune into their body. They tune into reality in a heavily detailed way emotionally. That is kind of the epicenter. That trines over to Mars in Libra and down to Jupiter, Venus in Gemini. What that brings together is a couple of things. One, Mars in Libra, which snuck over into Libra during the holiday, 4th of July. Mars in Libra is saying, all right, Virgos, that's it. You know what you're worth. You know what you deserve. You know who's been stealing from you. You know who you need to get your money back from. You know all this. Now do it. Get off your astro and do it. So the universe is putting a lot of pressure on you to move forward with what you deserve and what you're worth. That goes on all the way through your birthday and into the fall, by the way, this force of moving ahead and collecting what you deserve, personally owning it, and then therefore in the world owning it. And then Jupiter conjuncting Venus, all right? This part of you is the part of you uh, that is working on <clears throat> excuse me, that is working, that is working on your uh, career ambition, that is working on your legacy decisions, that is working on opening up your total potential when it comes to the world and leaving a mark. So what this grand trine says is this, all you got to do is focus on the moment, put your heart in the moment, own the moment, master the moment, get your astro moving with what you deserve. And if you do that, where you belong with career, the power you belong in your legacy will come into fruition. That is the soul pyramid for you on Thursday. Then we get to Friday. Friday's going to be a groovy day because Venus rules the day. You could not write a better script for a Friday. The universe is pushing for things to give and receive and restore natural balance. So if you got in a fight on 4th of July with a friend, you guys might make up and kiss on Friday. This is a time where you might start to feel good in the world. If you are feeling good, the question is why? If you're not feeling good, the question is why? What would it take for you to restore balance in your social life? Maybe it's the wrong social life. What would it take for you to restore balance in your emotional field? Maybe it was the wrong approach or management of your emotions. Friday is a day to restore peace and order, and Venus ruling the day is helping you to find peace in order, okay, with where you stand in the world. The moon is still in Aquarius, so it is hyper aware. You're feeling every bump in the road. And I just want to point out that this trine between soul capital, Mars in Libra, uh, up to Jupiter conjuncting Venus is going to be a codependent, co-triggering relationship for a while. As you push forward with what you deserve, you will find career open. As you see new opportunity to career, you will find soul capital grow. The two will be ping-ponging each other until further notice from me. Also, I want to point out, I've got a little show on Fridays called Unite the Light. It's my little office hours. It's just a little webcam show. 
at 12. I'm going to take the 12 o'clock office hours. By the way, we're looking for other people to be on camera with office hours. That's why we're saying casting at soulgarden.me. But I'm going to do mine, and I want to talk about the issues of the day, how to unite the light, and I'm going to just talk about solutions. I'm interested in solutions. I'm interested in opinions. I'm interested in changing things. So if you're interested in chatting it up with us or coming on webcam as a guest, come on down at 12 noon on Friday. Then Saturday is a very cloudy day. We've got a heavy Neptune day. Everyone's got to sleep in on Saturday. It's almost like the holiday. You want it on the 4th, but you're too busy making hot dogs. It is the day of Neptune. The moon moves into Pisces, making you extremely sentimental. The moon pulls you into relationships, pulls you into the topic of fairness. The moon Moon crosses over Neptune and Chiron, and what that does is make you extremely uh, emotionally sensitive to your higher self and your intuition. The sun is also making you sensitive and intuitive. What this all comes down to is you intuiting really where you belong on Earth. And I think your senses about what you want out of all relationships will help you figure out where you belong on Earth. So it's your sensibilities around partnership, marriage, and relationships that help you guide yourself to where you belong in the Earth or on the Earth on Saturday. On Sunday, it's a perfect wrap up. You can't write this. I'm so grateful for the universe for making perfect weeks for me as an astrologer. But Sunday is the decision time. By Sunday, God Universe is asking for Virgos to commit to a direction of where you feel like you belong in the world, which means title, status, etc. And also, therefore, what kind of emotional life you think you deserve to live. Because where you belong is directly tied to your emotional life. So on Sunday, you are deciding where you want that. The moon is still in Pisces on Sunday. So although you are making big decisions and commitments to where you belong on Facebook, emotionally you're wanting to snuggle with your honey because you are sentimental. All right, Virgo, that's all I got for the seven-day forecast. I hope to see you guys on webcam with me on Unite the Light on Fridays. And if not, well, I hope to see you back here in seven days. Until then, live, love, be.